Seems like the Sounders have been on the road for a long time, and we know they're going on the road again next week to play in D.C. and Columbia. So a home match, well, that's a treat. Hi again, everyone. I'm Tony Ventrella, SoundersFC.com. Toronto coming to town for a 7 o'clock match here at Quest on Saturday night. Well, it'd be nice to play in front of our fans. You know, we've missed our fans. We haven't had that chance for a little bit of time. So so we're looking forward to that. You know, it's 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 you want to move on, so going out and playing a game helps you sort of move on. You know, it was difficult. I don't think people truly realize how difficult the game was last Saturday. Everything saw you're a man up, so you should have just steamrolled them. Uh, but, you know, you're trying to get over, the, over that emotional shock. Uh, and not always playing a man up is not always the best thing. But, uh, you know, now for us, we've got to deal with O'Brien as well. And, uh, you know, but so, you know, getting into a game is something we're going to look forward to because it allows us to put all those things behind us and move forward. We want to put things right and, and uh, build from the Chicago game, build from the Houston game, and, and start, uh, you know, making sure that our home, that our home field is a, is a fortress and, and, a, and, a, and a force where we know we, we come home and, and teams are going to have to do something special to take points from us. Everyone agrees that last Friday's win at Colorado was not pretty and, of course, made even worse with the injury to Steve Zakawani. But it was good for three points and time to move on. I mean, a victory is always good. We got the three points, but it was it's tough losing Steve that way. And, um, you know, watching that um, was, was all tough and we're still thinking about him. But, um, no, we got we to come together and um, still got the three points, which was important, important in uh, Colorado. And uh, if we get another three points this weekend, we're, we're in a good spot. Toronto comes to town with one win, two losses, and four draws, and seven goals in seven matches. Lots of changes in this Toronto team, but it doesn't change the way the Sounders approach the match. I mean, they're a little bit real retooled from last year. They lost, um, they lost, they lost a few players, but they're uh, they're still the hardworking team and a good team. And if you uh, if you let them play and start getting going, they can they can create. So it's one we got to get after them right from the get going. Really uh, play the way we can. Pienso que. Es un partido difícil, como todos los que hemos enfrentado hasta hoy. Tenemos que estar bien preparados, mentalizados de que va a ser un, un rival difícil, que tenemos que ganarle y, y seguir demostrando, demostrando perdón, que en casa somos, somos fuertes. They've had a little bit of an indifferent season, you know, like we have. You know, they've they kind of got beat by a few numbers. They put a few numbers up on a few people. So, you know, they're uh, they're a decent team, always kind of changing, still not quite, I think, sure with, uh, you know, their over the years, you know, different coaches, different managers, different players. They're kind of in a little bit of that shakeup. But, uh, you know, we're at home. We want to play well and win the game. And that's, uh, you know, we're still a little bit, you know, we know we won the game in Colorado, but we're still a little disappointed with the way we played. Certainly the best scenario for this team would be to come out with three points Saturday night as they head on the road to D.C. and Columbus next week. I'm Tony Ventrella, SoundersFC.com.